Hey, it's Jake Mace with jakemace.com. Today, we're talking about the chain whip. I keep it bundled up in my hand just like this so that this is my sparring stance. Hey, what's happening? I don't kick the boom! The chain whip kind of gives you some extra mass, kind of like a brass knuckles from the inside effect. And then we can take it, throw it out. And before we start training with the chain whip, I always do a warm up. And here's what my warm up looks like with the chain whip. I just work on stance rooted to the ground with my legs like this. The chain whip in a outstretched position using that centrifugal force to keep it extended the whole time. And then I just work on going like nunchuck spin. This side of the body, that side of the body, this side of the body, that side of the body. Then some arm changes, underarm change, underarm change. And the whole time doing my underarm changes, I don't wanna have the whip doing this. <laughs> okay, that's what beginners do. I want the whip to be taut and in a tight extended position the entire time. So watch. It stays tight the whole time. No slack in my whip. Then I start walking. Left, right, left, right, left. Come on, right, left, right. Then I use my arm for the change. Okay, my other arm. Over the arm, elbow back. Over the arm, elbow back, and more of this. Then I walk backwards with it. Then two circles on the arm. One, two, ah, ah, yes. One, two, wah, wah, yes. Keep it going. Wah. Good. After that, we go to neck changes. Neck change, arm, neck change, arm. Notice how there's one extra spin in there, right there. When I feel ready, I eliminate that extra spin, like this. Yes, yes, getting dizzy, yes, yes. Then I always kill it behind my back, on the arm, flip it the other direction and go this way. Yes, neck. Neck, arm, neck, arm. Then kill it on the arm. Flip it up, catch the dart. Catch it halfway. Fold it into back to my hand. Swoop, hit you guys. I have that good reverse bow stance or forward bow stance, depending on what you call it. And that's my warm up. about 10 minutes of that. Getting used to that flow, getting used to keeping the whip tight and not spinning it too fast, just keeping it extended. And for those of you who are beginners and you're a little bit afraid of this one, that's to be expected. I was afraid of it too back when I was a teenager and first began learning this. This is the heavy duty chain whip with a pretty sizable bullet on the end. This is not one of those nambly pambly performance wushu whips that's very skinny and just designed to impress the crowd. This one has a lot of weight. It's nine section steel whip, very hard to come by these days. I would definitely pet up the end, maybe pat up the handle, wear a mouthpiece, helmet, and protection. If you don't wanna do that, here's the other option. Go to jakemace.com and for $9, we'll send you a practice whip that's a tennis ball on a string with a nice handle. And you guys who are beginners can use the chain whip with this one for very cheap, $9. And if you mess up, the worst that's gonna happen is that a tennis ball is gonna hit you in the head. And that's just fine, okay? Of course, don't critically injure yourself. Be careful still, but we can do the exact same spins with the tennis ball whip. Under the arm, under the arm. And get those changes going. From there, we can go to our arm change while walking. Left, elbow, left, elbow, left, elbow. From there, we can go to our neck changes. Neck, arm, neck, arm, neck, arm. Then we can do our kill, kill. Other direction, neck, arm, neck, arm, neck, arm. When we're ready, we can kill it on the arm, let it come back, catch the tennis ball. You can even go play some tennis after you're done. So get one of these beginner level practice whips from jakemace.com. Go to the purchase weapons link and get one for nine bucks. The final two skills with the chain whip that I use for warm up are these two. I get it going over my head in a helicopter pattern. 
and I start some rolls to get my body tough from rolling. So I go, right hand has the whip, roll over my right shoulder. One, back up on the feet again. Do it again. Two, up on the feet again. Now I'll get about five of these going in a big part. Just work my way down. Back up, then when I'm ready, stay on the ground. Keep the whip out to the side and get it going over your body this way. And you gotta practice the skill of jumping it and here's how it works. Legs and then torso. Repeat after me, say it. Legs and then torso, I'll listen. Okay, so legs, then torso. Legs, then torso. Legs, then torso. Legs, then torso. One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah. This is better than sit-ups. Nine, 10, leave it to the side. Get that kip up going. And back to your normal spin. Kill it on the arm. Catch the dart. Catch it halfway. Gather it. Boom. Return to your bow stance. And now your warm up's complete. And you can begin your chain whip training. Then I'll take all of those chain whip solo skills and combine them fluidly into one sequence. And I'll show you guys what I mean right now in regular speed and slow-mo.